Ubisoft, I'm telling you. When this game first was announced, even with all the drama about Yasuke being black and all the other missteps that they took, I still thought this game was going to be a success for them. I thought the audience was large enough and full of normies, I guess you could call them, that probably didn't pay attention to a lot of this crap. They just continue to consume, consume, consume that they would be okay. Would this be the biggest game ever that they made for Assassin's Creed? No, I didn't think it would be, but I still thought it would be successful. I'm really starting to wonder about that now. Founded Into Comics has an article out called Assassin's Creed Shadows Disaster Continues to Unfold as Ubisoft Pulls Out of Tokyo Game Show Cancel Scheduled Press Previews. Now, I did see earlier where they released... uh, like a figurine, and there was some drama surrounding that, so hopefully this article talks about that as well. If not, I'll mention it. In the latest indicator that things are not going well for Assassin's Creed Shadows, Ubisoft has not only announced a last-minute cancellation to their plans to exhibit the highly controversial title at the upcoming Tokyo Game Show, but the developer has also reportedly pulled the plug on the game's scheduled press previews. I thought that they said things were fine. That in Japan, the, the uh, reception was, was fine. It was good. There were no problems. I tend to think that might not be the case since they're pulling out of this Tokyo game show. Ubisoft Japan goes on to say, regarding our online exhibit at Tokyo Game Show 2024, scheduled to start at 3 p.m. on September 26, we regret to inform you that due to various circumstances, we have decided to cancel our exhibit. The currently ongoing giveaway campaign in which the developer is offering a $5,000 yen gift cards to five random fans to commemorate the official release will continue. We apologize for the short notice. We sincerely apologize to everyone who is looking forward to the release. That doesn't sound good. I can't think of why they would pull out of this unless, unless... The reception to this game is not as good as they led their investors to believe and led the public to believe. If everything was hunky-dory in Japan, why, why would you pull out of this? And it, it, makes, it makes no sense to me. Now, as if this wasn't bad enough for Ubisoft, just a few hours after the initial TGS announcement, Insider, game, uh, Insider Gaming's Tom Henderson reported that, per his very sources, the developer had canceled the entirety of Assassin's Creed Shadow's upcoming press previews. The Assassin's Creed Shadows press previews were scheduled to take place next week, and the embargo date for the previews would be announced then. So my understanding of what these are is they give out, I guess, um, copies of the game or portions of the game to the press for them to preview it, make their like reviews and videos about it. You know, some of the positive PR. It sounds like they're pulling that back. I guess the overall reception of this game, both online in Japan and in the West, just hasn't been that good. But there have been a lot of people shielding this game. So I'm really surprised that they're doing this. Unless the game's just in that bad of a state. At current, Ubisoft is yet to publicly provide any specific details regarding the reason behind their above cancellations. It's either the game's in a really bad state or they feel... The PR from the press previews will just be abysmal. And it could be both, potentially, because one will lead to the other. However, in light of the absolutely abysmal state of Shadow's gameplay, visual aesthetics, and overall presentation, many players have begun to speculate that these recent moves are being done ahead in service of an upcoming delay to the game's release date, which would theoretically push it back from its currently planned November 15th debut. Oh, well, there's an update there. There's an update. Let's take a look. If you look here at the bottom, Assassin's Creed Shadows will now be released on February 14th, 2025. While the game is feature complete, the learnings from the Star Wars Outlaws release led us to provide additional time to further polish the title. We are departing from the traditional season pass model. I didn't even know they had a season pass. All players will be able to enjoy the game at the same time on February 14th, and those who pre-order the game will be granted the first expansion for free. So, sounds like what they're doing is they pushed it back three months, and they basically got rid of 
the uh, early access. It sounds like they are scared because of the way Star Wars Outlaws was received. Um, that didn't do well for them. I think they're afraid based on what they're seeing, probably with their internal metrics. And again, the drama surrounding this game has not been good for them. I think pre-orders are probably bad. And they are trying to damage control the PR as much as possible. Make this game as smooth as possible on release to limit how much negative PR there is. I mean, there was a lot of negative PR, a lot of negative content on Twitter and on YouTube about Star Wars Outlaws when it released, especially after that early access issue where there were so many bugs. There was, it sounded like there was a crucial bug where they basically forced all of the early access people to restart the game or else they wouldn't be able to continue or complete the game because of the bug. So they, they lost all of their time. So all the time and completions and progress you had during the early access, gone. That didn't bode well. I think they're trying to avoid a lot of this egg in their face that they have with Star Wars Outlaw, which, which is smart. But that just tells me they have a problem with, with their process. If they have this much to worry about, they need to fix the way they develop these games, the way they QA these games to get them ready for release. That's all I'm saying. There was a video of this. It sounded like a, a Japanese couple um, where they reviewed the recent trailer that came out for Assassin's Creed, and they tore it to shreds. They picked up so many graphical errors in that trailer. Swords going through she uh, sheaths, bullets floating, horses gliding, uh, doors not being flush with the ground. They were like a look to be anywhere from 12 inches to, to higher up off the ground. I mean, there were, there were a lot of things. Um, doors not matching up with the platform that's in front of it. So the door actually, if you were to walk out the door, you just would fall because there was nothing in front of the door. There's more. You guys should you should look for that video. I don't I don't have the link unfortunately, so I won't be able to post it in the description. But they have a lot of things that they probably need to clean up, and they're worried about this game has to hit for them. I think if it doesn't hit for them and they don't make the money that they want to make, I honestly think there's going to be hell to pay. People are going to lose their jobs. I mean, their stocks already kind of tanking so we'll we'll see what happens but there's one other thing that i haven't talked about that i wanted to talk about and in further compounding their assassin's creed shadows related issues while all this rescheduling is going on the game has also found itself under fire to uh, due to the recent reveal uh, that a planned figure featuring protagonist yasuke and naoi which features now a, you know, leaping from a broken Japanese story gate, which many have considered to be in poor taste due to the nation's reverence of a one-legged Tori gate in Nagasaki, which survived the initial atomic bomb blast during World War II, itself seen as a national symbol of the tragedy that took place due to the conflict. So, the props, the symbols... The fact that they chose the one black guy in Japan at this time to be a main protagonist instead of a Japanese samurai. Um, Thomas Lockley, the books, and the way they push this fake narrative of the legendary samurai. They, they keep stepping in this. And I think they've done so much damage to this brand, to this game specifically. I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I fear. Well, I don't fear, but... I believe they may be at risk of having a flop on their hands to the point that they probably will barely make anything on this game. And once you spend years developing something, spend millions, hundreds of millions of dollars, I'd imagine this game's got to be at least $200 million. I would imagine at least $200 million. Could be wrong. I don't know the details. It's just the game, the game budgets just keep getting bloated and bloated and bloated. So I don't think $200 million is out of the realm of possibility here. But with you know, when you spend that much time and money on something, you want to make money back on it. Making a million dollars or $2 million on your complete investment is, is not what this company is looking for. You don't want to spend 100 or $200 million only to 
net profit a million or two million. You, you need to make money on this game, uh, and you need to make a significant net profit. And I'm concerned that that return on investment is not going to be there. I just think so many people have been turned off on this. Believe it or not, the portion of people who hate a lot of this DEI stuff is growing. The portion of people who hate some of the things that they're doing and find offensive because of the steps they've taken to represent the authentic Japanese uh, area or culture down in, uh, in this game, I think that's growing. I think there's enough, a large enough base of people who will not play this game whatsoever. And I think it's going to hurt them. Not to mention the, um, the back and forth that's been going on Twitter. That also hurts. So I think they're in risk of, of having this fall flat on its face. We'll see. All in all, it seems Shadows is likely, if not at least briefly, headed back to the drawing board. However, given how far along the game is in development, it's unlikely that any additional polish will do anything more than put a fresh coat of paint on a freshly laid drop-in. I agree. I mean, this game's pretty far along. Unless there are major flaws in the game that they haven't addressed, and honestly, there may be, seeing how that trailer had so many flaws that people could easily pick out. Um, and these were simple things. I was really surprised that they would let a trailer like this with these things go out to the public. I really was. So either that's the best they had or somebody didn't do a good job at QA in the trailer. Who knows? Ubisoft just, they keep stepping in it. They're having a hard time keeping their nose clean and putting out a good quality game, it seems. So we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, following the, what seems to be trash fire of star wars outlaws i think they're afraid assassin's creed will follow suit so we'll have to see what happens and um let me know down in the comments what you think are you playing the game did you play uh, plan to play the game and um what do you like about it or don't like about it and hit like on this video and if you want more content subscribe to the channel and i will talk to you guys next time peace